Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. The RCMP are selling their weed sniffing dogs. The 15 sniffer dogs belonging to the RCM's road safety team will be sent packing after the legalization of cannabis. The dogs were trained to detect weed, which should be legal by the fall, making them redundant. The animals will be sold to other police agencies around the world where cannabis is still illegal. Older dogs, generally those over the age of 7 will be retired from service. These dogs often work on the roads and when they smell drugs the police have to search the vehicle. After legalization an arrest made in this way could be called into question. So they now have to change the dogs. New police dogs for the unit will begin their training before the summer and should be in service by January 2019. The majority of dogs in the federal police service, about 140 animals will continue to be trained to detect cannabis since the RCMP will still be targeting the black market. It does not change the general service teams because in the vast majority of cases, dogs are called to search a scene when a warrant has already been issued or when there has been an arrest. In these cases the discovery of cannabis by a sniffer dog would therefore simply be ignored by the police if it is not a criminal offense. Quebec's provincial police force does not anticipate major changes. Montreal's police force says no changes are expected with regard to the canine squad. Dogs will always be useful near legalization. Without going into details, there will still be illegal production and the police will have to intervene. The Quebec police says they will not do anything until the laws are passed. They do not want to invite themselves into the legalization debate. At the Canada Border Services Agency the training of detector dogs will also not be affected by the legalization of cannabis. The role of the sniffer dog remains the same. Under the proposed Cannabis Act, the import and export of cannabis will still be illegal in Canada unless it has a valid permit issued by the Government of Canada. As is currently the case permits are issued for specific purposes only, medical, scientific or industrial, such as hemp. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.